Now in this tutorial, I want to teach you how to actually make your own icon with your Microsoft Access. Uh, making your own icon shortcut as in making your shortcut on your desktop with your own particular icon. So how do you actually get this done? The first thing you need to do is to go to your Access application. I have one here I would like to use immediately. I right click on the particular access file and I send a shortcut to desktop. Okay, so send to desktop. As you can see, I have it here and this is a shortcut. So what I need to do, I right click on it and go to properties. And then the properties comes up. As you can see, this is what we have. We can actually change the icon here by clicking on change icon and uh, here we can change it to any of this icon let's assume this one as you can see it has actually changed it okay so let's wait a little for it to make that effect as you can see it's changed now what we can do again is to add our own particular icon now you have the you have the permission to select a particular file like an exe file an icon file you can see a program file library file and others so but what i want to choose here i just need an icon so i will go to my particular icon image that i already have like this one this is one of them but this is a favicon for a website icon that shows on the title bar but i can actually design my own and then convert it to an icon file i already have a png file on my pc these are my logos and uh, let me go to where i have my logos okay uh come here pictures logos so these are my logos and i wish to actually convert it so what i need to do is to go to a website called icon icoconverts.com so when you get to this website you browse for the file so where you have the file you browse for the file you want to use okay maybe you can get a bigger version of it okay this is a larger version then you click on upload and after the uploading of that particular file the next thing you do you can crop it by just clicking and drag here to your taste by the time you are done with that you can choose or select a style but i don't want that all i need is to click on ICO for Windows 7. So haven't selected that. You can actually select this one if you need other icon file. But this is the one that is needed. So for Windows 7, it can convert to about seven types of icon, but it's embedded in the one file. You won't actually know that. You can only recognize that in maybe Windows 7. But this is Windows 10 anyway. But I'm going to convert now. So I click on convert to icon. So when by the time it's available you see it's done and then i can click on download your icon so as you can see the icon is downloaded and if i come here to my download this is the file so what i need to do here i just need to come back to this properties browse to download select on this file click on open as you can see i click on okay then i can click on apply to add the settings down there so you have to wait a little for that to you. as you can see is done so that is how you add your own icon to it if you don't want to display this part and all that there are other things you can do to get that done by going to the properties but that you will get in the in the consequent tutorials that i'm going to make on this particular trick 
Thank you for watching. If you like this particular video, please like and share.